In a previous video, we learned that the purpose of a trial balance report is to check and prove that total debits and total credits across all accounts are equal. Most of the time they will be, but sometimes they aren't. When debits and credits don't balance, there are several math tricks that you can use to help you identify the kind of mistake that was made. One common mistake that many people make is to invert or transpose two numbers. This means that you take two numbers next to each other and switch their positions. For example, maybe you write down 27 when you meant to write 72. When this happens, the difference between the two numbers is always divisible by 9. Check it out. If you subtract 27 from 72, you get 45. 45 divided by 9 is 5. Now another common mistake is to add too many zeros on the end of a number or write too few zeros on the end of a number. For example, Maybe the number was supposed to be 800, but you accidentally wrote it as 80 instead. This is known as a slide error. Slide errors, like transposing numbers, are also divisible by 9. For example, 800 minus 80 is equal to 720, and 720 divided by 9 is 80. So if the difference between your debits and credits is exactly divisible by 9, you likely have a transposition error or a slide error somewhere in your accounting records for that period. Now, sometimes the difference between your debits and credits might be off by a 1, a 10, a 100, or a 1,000, or so on. In this case, it's possible that you entered a number wrong when you were totaling. When you use calculators to add, sometimes our fingers miss a key and strike the key next to it on accident. For example, if the number you are adding is 84, but you accidentally press 74 by mistake, that difference will be exactly $10. If you have a difference of a 1, a 10, a 100, etc., it's a good idea to retotal the debits and credits again before you waste time searching in case you simply added wrong. Honestly, that's a good practice anyway. Now, if the difference between your debits and credits is divisible by 2, it's most likely that you put a debit amount in the credit column or a credit amount in the debit column. For example, say you have a journal entry for $11. Normally, you would have a debit of 11 and a credit of 11. Now, let's imagine that you accidentally posted two debits for $11 instead. That would make your credits too low by 11 and your debits too high by 11, for a total difference of $22. If you divide that by 2, that's $11. So if your difference divides evenly by 2, you might want to look for a transaction that was a dollar amount equal to half your difference, and make sure that the debits and credits for that transaction were entered correctly. It's also possible that you may have posted one side of the journal entry and forgot to post the other side. If that happens, your difference will be exactly equal to the transaction amount. For example, let's imagine that instead of posting two debits for $11, you simply posted the one debit, but did not post the credit side. That means that your difference will be exactly $11. In this case, you would search for any transactions for $11 and make certain that each of the lines for these transactions was posted properly. Finding errors in accounting is a bit of a mystery and a puzzle. These are just a few tips that can help at solving that puzzle, but they aren't all inclusive and they don't work every time. Even at that, they are still useful tools and cover the most commonly made mistakes. My experience has been that if you use these math tips on your differences between total debits and total credits, you'll usually find your mistake faster and easier and will be able to move on. To learn more about finding common mistakes and other accounting topics, check out more of my videos on YouTube or visit torynorman.com.